Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another reading of the Bible. We are in the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Zephaniah. And uh, here, here, here's the intro and the chapters. There's only three chapters, so I'll read the whole book if I have enough time. So here we go. During Judah's hectic political and religious history, reform comes, comes from time to time. Zephaniah's forceful prophecy may be a factor in the reform that occurs during just Josiah's reign. A revival, and revivals in quotes, a revival that produces outward change but does not fully remove the inward heart of corruption which characterizes the nation. Excuse me. Zephaniah hammers home his message repeatedly that the day of the Lord, judgment day, and that's different from the day of Christ. Uh, the day of the Lord, judgment day, is coming from the, when the malignancy of, of sin uh, will be dealt with. Israel and her Gentile neighbors. It's interesting, Gentiles with a small g. Uh, Israel and her Gentile neighbors will soon experience the crushing hand of God's wrath. But after the chastening process is complete, blessing will come in the person of the Messiah, who will be the cause of praise and singing. Zephaniah, that's with a T, that's interesting. Zephan, Zeph, Zephan, or Zephan, Zephaniah means Yahweh hides. Yahweh has hidden. Huh. Zephaniah was evidently born during the latter part of the king, of the reign of King Manasseh. His name may mean that he was hidden from Manasseh's atrocities. Huh, interesting. The Greek and Latin title is Zophonias. 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 Okay, here we go. Uh, chapter 1. The word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushi, Cushi, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Hezekiah, Hezekiah, uh, or Hiskia, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks for, with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. I will also stretch out mine hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place, and the name of the Kemarims, Kemarims, Kemarims with the priests, Kemarim, Kemarims, verse 4, let me get to a footnote here, verse 4, uh, Kemarims, idolatrous priests, okay, idolatrous priests or pagan priests, okay, Kemarims with the priests, the idolatrous priests. Priests. Uh, and them who worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them who worship and and that swear or who swear by the Lord, and who swear by Malka, them who are turned back from the Lord, and those who have not sought the Lord nor nor inquired for him, for him, them. Excuse me. Uh, hold thy peace. Hey, 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 hey. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice; He hath bid bid His guests. Bid His guests. It shall come to pass in the in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those who leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence, violence and deceit. It shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. Howl, ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they who bear silver are cut off. 
It shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men who are settled on their on their lees. Lees, L E E S. That's who say that in the heart, who say in the heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore, their goods shall become a booty, uh, and their houses a desolation. They shall also uh, build houses, but not inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hasten. Hasteneth, it shall be hasteneth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. I will bring distress upon men that they shall, shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured. Excuse me. Their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold uh, shall, uh, be, shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of its jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them who dwell in the land. Now stop there.